over the years, but this was the first one I'd seen offering up a cure for the hiccups. I thought, yeah, right. I wasn't too interested. Then I read the details just published in one of the leading medical journals in the U.S. It's an inexpensive device that works for children and adults, and the physician who created it says he got the idea at McDonald's. I have very strange hiccups. <coughs> They're loud. They sound more like burps. They are very painful. <coughs> they're annoying. <coughs> and at times, they're embarrassing. My hiccups are, you could call unique. They're not like the normal hiccups. Sierra Pacenti gets hiccups a lot, and she's tried everything to get rid of them. My mom used to make me sit in front of the water unit we had at our house and drink cups and cups of water. Odd enough, um, a spoonful of sugar, don't ask me why, but I used to do that. I've stood on my head, maybe upside down. I've tried every method that I could think of to look up and they either make them go away temporarily or they do go away, but then, you know, the next day they're back. Seven-year-old stay-at-home mom says there's no rhyme or reason to what brings them on and she says it can take hours to get them to go away. She says she was willing to try anything for relief, and that's when she heard about Hickaway. And I was a little skeptical, like a straw. And then I'm, I'm looking at the science of it, and I'm like, well, that, that sounds like sound science. I'm interested. The device is the brainchild of Dr. Ali Seyfi after seeing a patient suffering after surgery. And the patient was so frustrated. Imagine somebody just had the brain surgery, but his hiccup was the main pain for him, not his brain surgery. He wanted to invent something that could help, and he got an idea as he watched his son eat a McFlurry at McDonald's. I noticed when he tried to drink that or eat Fred from this, he, he needed lots of pressure. Then it came to my mind, that might be something I can use as a tool. Fast forward several years as he experimented with different dimensions and the suction pressure. These are some samples with 3D printer that we started to to, to make and test. Patented in 2017, the Hickaway device is now backed by science. A recent study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found it helped alleviate hiccups in more than 90 percent of the people who used it, and it worked better than home remedies. And you don't need an extreme case of the hiccups in order for it to work. Hiccup starts with a spasm, like a sudden spasm of the diaphragm muscle, and then it sends a pulse to the brain, and the brain sends a pulse into our throat. So I was thinking if I somehow at the same time I can keep these two muscles busy with something different, they may forget or they don't have time enough to, to go to those uh, spasm, vicious cycle spasm. It sure has made a big difference for Sierra. Two sips. No hiccups. Now she carries the hick away in her purse, never leaving home. I have to be scared when I go out. Uh, I don't have to go to my car, or excuse myself to the bathroom, pretty much run away because I'm so embarrassed. Now I'm like, oh, I got my hick away. All I got to do is just drink water and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Here it is, the hick away. <laughs> you can buy it on Amazon or at Walmart for about 14 bucks, although you may have to wait. Some other people have uh, heard about the report in JAMA, and we're not the only ones. Anyway, the plastic tube has a mouthpiece on one end and an adjustable pressure valve on the other. Adults need more pressure. Children need less pressure to suck and swallow water through this straw. But it works. Dr. Safey says it works best for people just with regular everyday hiccups. Those with chronic hiccups. He says they may need medication or even surgery. And, and here's a fun fact. Mm. Two of the top 10 health-related searches on Google include questions about hiccups and how to get rid of them. So <laughs> there is clearly a need for something like this. I, I think uh, news anchors, uh, there's a clearly a need among us. Leon, should oh, I yeah. keep this behind the, uh, the anchor desk for all of us? You see me go through it a couple <laughs> of times. You I, know. I've hiccuped on the air before. It's, uh, you know, and what do you do when that happens? What do you know? Now McDonald's can say, hey, McFlurries, they're good for you. There you go. <laughs> I guess that's true. All right. Thanks, Dory.